Hey, it's Joe Talentino with CoastalCompanion.com. Today I have Anne Marie Adams, the Executive Director of the Hilton Head Hospitality Association with us. How you doing? Fantastic. Now you're going to tell us all about the big event you guys have coming up, the Seafood Jazz and Brew Fest. Yeah, Talk Hilton, to me about that. Sure. Hilton Head Island is a, a destination for a culinary aspiration as well as uh, the foodies of this world. So one of the things that uh, the island does offer, which is this is one of multiple food-related events that we have on the island, but this specific one has uh, an attribute of celebrating craft beer. And every fall in the month of September, we hold what we call the Seafood Jazz and Brew Festival. It's a week-long activity that touts the attributes of our own coastal community, which is seafood uh, and uh, jazz, because we have a large local jazz community here, but then we actually add that beverage component of craft beer. And this event is now in its fourth year, though only the third year it's been held at Shelter Cove Harbor, and uh, we are excited about the, the craft beer vendors that are going to be here with us uh, in our southeast market and the things that they can do both as a vendor uh, and a visitor are uh, available to those who come from outside the area to <coughs> come taste beer. Well, and this isn't just a weekend event. This is a week-long deal. Tell me what yeah. happens during the week. Yeah, there there are seafood, beer, and food pairings and tastings from Monday through Friday, the September 13th through the 17th. We've got jazz performances uh, throughout the week as well. We've got a great partnership with the Jazz Corner, which is a fabulous uh, live music venue. Um, we've got a Belgian beer and food pairing, just to name one of the activities. We've got an English pub beer and food pairing that all happen during the week. Um, so there are a number of different things that the food and beverage outlets are doing to celebrate beer uh, in terms of uh, pairing it with food and introducing some new product uh, to the market. We also have golf and brews. We actually have the George Fazio Golf Course at Pimetta Dunes uh, actually going to tee up some uh, golf and tastings at the same time. They've got a nine-hole opportunity that transpires Friday evening. Our symphony orchestra, which I should emphasize, you know, you, I'll keep mentioning names of organizations. There's a huge community effort to uh, make sure that there are a variety of uh, activities offered during this particular uh, festival so that the visitor ha can pick and choose what they would like to attend. But the symphony will do uh, the Howard Paul Quintet um, on, uh, also on Friday evening. Uh, then most people are familiar with the what we call the finale event, which is Brews on the Harbor, which transpires at Shelter Cove Harbor. It's a nice harborside marina area uh, where we do two tastings during the day, and we offer a number of uh, craft beer options for tasting, then food vendors, and a number of other activities associated with that particular Brews on the Harbor activity. Um, we have the uh, Low Country Malts, which is our home brew demonstration. We have a large home brew market here and also in the southeast region, so we've got them doing some demonstrations. We've got the Waddell Mariculture Center and a number of our children-friendly um, activities transpiring as part of our Fish and Friends. Uh, we have even our Hilton Head Humane Association kind of jumps into the bandwagon. We have your Bark for Your Beer uh, silent auction, <laughs> and that tends to be a pretty entertaining auction by the end of the day. And then we have our Sunset <laughs> Rotary Club actually steps in and uh, works with our oyster shucking. We do a professional and amateur oyster shucking. So in addition to tasting the craft beer, you've got a number of activities that benefit some local not-for-profits, but that also uh, are there to, to kind of educate and introduce people to uh, some of the seafood offerings that we have in the area. Well, it sounds like an awesome event, and you guys seem to have the trifecta there with seafood, jazz, and uh, and craft beer. So, I don't think there you can't lose with that that a combo at all. No, and you know it's a it's a great this particular time frame on Hilton Head Island sectors nicely with uh, Savannah, Georgia's Savannah Jazz Festival. So we see that as a kind of a cross uh, visitor opportunity for us to tap into some of the folks that are coming for the jazz festival and then maybe perhaps there are some uh, craft beer lovers that are going to stay in the market and enjoy some of the jazz. So it, it's a unique time frame on the calendar. Well, no doubt. Well, Anne-Marie, I appreciate you spending some time with us today and talking to us about the event. If uh, anybody has any questions or, or uh, wants to find out more information, where do they contact? 
We have an 800 number set up where we have our volunteers who will return phone calls and answer any questions. It's 1-800-424-3387. There's also festival information on our website, www.hiltonheadhospitalityassociation.com, all spelled out. And just click into festivals, and there's Seafood Jazz and Brew uh, website where they can order their tickets if they want to do those in advance. We also offer the tickets for the September 18th event at the gate. Uh, and they can also look at some of the other offerings of activities. Cool. And, of course, you can also find uh, information about this on coastalcompanion.com. Just look under uh, South Carolina Hilton Head, and you'll see the, the uh, event page there as well. Fantastic. We look forward to having everybody here for craft beer.